Okay, guys, uh, going on to a little bit more complicated one. We're gonna do the Joker. Well, I guess it's not technically the Joker. It says Happy Clown. Copyright infringement much? The Jason one was actually just a hockey mask. Anyway, so we're gonna be painting this to look like the Joker. I kind of wish I could cut the nose off, but I don't think that's gonna be possible without having a giant gash in it. I guess I'm gonna have to keep that. First thing I'm gonna do, uh, because they did it in the video, is paint the face completely white. We're starting completely over from scratch. And to paint it white, I'm actually using this premium chalky paint. Yeah, now it's completely white. Well, I'm gonna let this dry and then we'll get to painting it. Two very boring minutes later. So now we have to bring this clown back to life. So I'm gonna use this sand colored paint for kind of a skin tone. And I'm just gonna go all over and spray his face down. Not looking bad. That actually kind of looks like real skin tone a little bit too. I'm gonna let this dry for a little bit and then we're gonna work on his teeth. It looks like I'm gonna be your dentist today, sir. 20 minutes later. Before we do that, I actually added just a little bit of red in the sand colored paint. It was looking a little bit pale there, so I just kind of wanted to give him a little bit color on his cheeks before I started painting all the white on. So now we're gonna be working on this guy's teeth. They used Silly Putty. They just put it right over his lips. That way, when they go to spray it, it won't won't, uh, it won't get on the lips. It'll just get on the teeth. And that's the goal that we're going for. I wouldn't have even done this if I didn't watch the video. Glad I came upon this video. Thank you so much, YouTube algorithm. Serving me up some good old tasty vids. Using my X-Acto knife to kind of really push it into the crevices so that I just get his teeth. And it looks like they used a very yellowy white for the teeth. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put a little bit of white and a little bit of this bright yellow. I don't know if this is the proper way to do this or not. I'm mixing it right inside of this little bowl that it comes with. Oh gosh, oh, I got it on my mask. That is not what I wanted to do. Maybe the tiniest, tiniest bit of red just to sort of give it the littlest tinge of like brown in his teeth. That's not the color I was going for. Can I fix this? Here we go, let's try this. I think I failed on the mission a little bit. Maybe I should just go for yellow. Oh gosh, I forgot to put the cap back on. No, I'm sorry, Mr. Scary Clown Man. Maybe this time. I'll start off with white and then I'll add the yellow afterwards. This kind of has that like Thousand Island color. I think this is more of what we're going for instead of that bright yellow. Now we're going to carefully remove the silly putty. That turned out pretty decent actually. Got a little bit of mustard there on your chin there, buddy. And then it looks like they just kind of went in with the acrylic paint and just started like rushing it onto his teeth. Oh, I think I messed up. Oh! Let me go in with just a little bit of black. Outlined the outside of his teeth and then just kind of use your finger to mess up the teeth like that. Um, I guess this is just how he blends it. Yeah, teeth look uh, okay. I'm not super proud of them. Now we're going to go on to the face paint. I'm gonna go in with our chalk paint. Just sort of brush it on. So now we're gonna put some more putty inside of his teeth. Yeah, that looks about good. Now to give him his smile. You wanna know how he got these scars? Well, now to give him his smile. You wanna know how he got these scars? Now I'm gonna try and remove the silly putty. I hope I don't mess up what I just did. Oh, that looks pretty sick. Just a little touch up. Now I'm gonna fill in the shading on his eyes. One of the last things I have to paint on this is the hair. I kind of want to start his hair off with like a brown. Then I'll try and kind of paint the green on top of it. And I'm going to try to do sort of like a gradient with the green. And then I kind of want to go in and add some highlights to this to really make the hair sort of like pop out in some places. The final touch. Can't be a clown without your bright red nose, am I right? Wow. Yeah, so I'm pretty impressed uh, with how this one turned out too. It looks like a legitly painted Halloween mask. The skin looks very realistic. I chose a really good color for that. And the teeth, oh, look at those teeth. Anyway, let's try it on. This is pretty scary looking. <laughs> This is what mine look like, and this is what theirs look like. I definitely like the Heath Ledger Joker better than this Joker. Anyway, let's go on to the last one.